Okay. You see the water falling inside of this bathroom. I want to talk about the love and the chastening, the correction, and the enduring of suffering in the context of patience and submission. I'm just going to turn on the shower here. Uh-huh. Now, a lot of times we want to talk about showering blessings. Oh, praise God. Hmm. So here we have the shower on. I just moved it from the lower tap here to the shower. And when it rains, it pours these things. Hmm. All right, let's see if I can cover all these things. When God starts to rain down a blessing, but in the form of striking you, Jesus was pure, but he was stricken. He was not esteemed highly. Yet he despised the shame put on him and exposed all principalities and powers. When you are being chastened by the Lord or purified by the Lord, remember Jesus had to pass through the fire as well. When you are being purified by the Lord, baptized by the fire, the sword, you must submit yourself to the hand of God and be patient. The word here is patient. Jesus was patient and allowed himself to be stricken even unto death. What's important to you and I is that these showers of blessings involve being stricken, involve suffering for the glory of God. That's why he says rejoice when you are, go through suffering because you enjoy them for the righteousness and the glory of God. Even in the midst, now this sounds kind of paradoxical, but in the midst of your suffering, God is being glorified because now the witness is there. It is in the absence of things taken for granted that the Lord God is seen as good. In the absence of things taken for granted that the glory of the Lord is seen because men are blinded otherwise it is when you are being tried for things which you are not uh, you have been forced to choose of and forced to try for that the Lord God can be seen you don't need to defend yourself he is going to show himself and glorify you and you will be glorified and he will be glorified. 